Hey everybody, I'm back here today. Um, today we're going to make some turtle stew, or turtle soup. Um, I've got my turtle, of course. Um, it's still a little deep though. So we're going to just go ahead and put it in the stock pot either way and put it on a real low uh, heat just to kind of get it going. And um, we're going to boil it with off the bone so I can pick it from the bone and then I'll show you the next step. This is going to be a couple hours worth of work, but it's pretty easy work. It's a lot of easy beer drinking work. Um, so I guess we'll start with uh, got me a pretty big stock pot. Let me go in the sink here. Okay. Looks about right, huh? So um, <clears throat> we got our turtle, the turtle meat. It's a little soft, still frozen a little bit too, so it's, it's going in. I'm not waiting all day. I uh, called my mom to take, get her to take it out of the freezer for me, and she forgot this morning, so I'm just going to have to live with it as it is. And I see this bag is not going to cooperate. Let me find a knife, a knife. Rip this bag open, and we're not going to reuse these. So. Space it. Come on now. Mm. There we go. Got it, finally. Whew. That was actually kind of like work. Okay, I'm going to put some water in, fill this bad boy up. I'll go ahead and turn the canner off, you, you don't need to watch water. Alright guys, I filled it up, and now it's uh, time to throw in some bay leaves. Let's do... Uh, maybe five. And uh, what we'll do is, we're going to cover this. And like I say, it's still frozen, so I gotta really take my time and cover it up. <clears throat> really gotta take my time and bring this heat up real nice and slow, so everything works out. So all I've got this on is extremely low, and uh, I'll be checking it periodically just to make sure you know everything's good. It should be fine, and. Um, let this cook until it falls off the bone. Or really easy to pull off the bone is more what I'm looking for. Where I can take a fork and just scrape it right off. That's where we're, we're aiming for. And we're going to save this uh, some of this stock that's cooking in here too. That's going to help uh, later on. So we'll be back in a few hours. Hey guys, um, I wanted to tell you this this film this what it is is pretty much like fat I got um just clean that up every once in a while get that crap out of there you don't need it in here it's not going to do anything and if anything it's going to look disgusting as hell especially if you're showing a friend or a family member hey look what I'm cooking a uh, chicken does it too squirrel all that crap so, if you haven't seen it before Boil some chicken one time, see what happens. But uh, yeah, I just clean that off, off the top, every, I don't know, 15 or so minutes. And that's about it. Just wanted to let you guys know to do that. <clears throat> hey guys, it's been another half hour or so. I'm going to throw in some smoked salt. Just for shits and giggles, man. Throw a little bit of that in there. I mean, I'm gonna add in chicken broth and stuff later. I got the uh, uh, low, lower sodium stuff, and I got some mushrooms, and of course, you know, canned mushrooms. They add boatload of salt as well, but it'll give us a little flavor as well with them bay leaves. So, like I say, just keep an eye on this every 10-15 minutes for uh, 
the you know the, the grease and crap that floats off. You know, not a big deal. So I figure I'd tell you I was throwing in salt. Smoke salt that is. And you know how you make that? Well, you light a cigarette. Or better yet, use a joint, blow it on that salt. No, it's playing. I put it in my uh, cold smoker, man. So, but I might smoke one later on tonight. Hey guys, uh, I just got done boiling that, uh, there you go, Moonshine. I got, uh, done boiling the turtle. So the stock pot's hanging out. I've got to get the bay leaves and stuff out of it. Um, but I got the meat cooling down over here. We're going to uh, just shred it <clears throat> real easy. Let's see here. Get you all propped up. I've already started shredding some. Um, this is the neck. This here. Back two legs. A little bit of tail. There's front leg, and I think I just got done the other front. So it tastes good, man. Um, a lot of people say, "Oh, it tastes like chicken," and you know, in a sense, it does. Um, in a sense, it tastes like beef, uh, fish. There's so many things. It it does. It kind of does. But it's distinct. It's got its own thing going on. That's awesome. Nice and lean. That's mm. awesome. So, I'm just going to pick this all apart, and then we're going to start on um, making up everything. Some beer. Hey, man. Got my rag going, brother. <laughs> So heck yeah. Just pick this out real quick and then we'll get uh, started chopping on all the vegetables. Alright guys, I just got done uh, picking the meat. What we're going to do is I'm going to need at least two cups of this fluid. So I'm going to slowly It's pretty damn close. Let's see if I can pick. Oh shit. Bad idea. Bad idea, Holla. Bad idea. Um, damn it, I didn't want to wash another dish, but there we go. Good enough. Rest of it, go wherever I'm going to throw it. I do live in the country. So we can throw that shit anywhere. And it tastes good. Woo! It tastes good. I did put a little bit of Old Bay in there. I don't even know. Maybe a teaspoon of Old Bay and, and cooked it down. Um, just because I could. And also because um, I uh, went to Walmart, and of course, Walmart's known for pretty much anything you need. Well, went in, they didn't have uh, seafood stock. I was going to do this, uh, like, more with seafood taste this time just to try it. They didn't have it. They also didn't have collard greens. They didn't have uh, spinach. They did not have kale. So, I guess it is what it is. And this is like, uh, I mean, the big super center. I mean, it's not like it's some hole in the wall Walmart. Big one. They sell tires and, I mean, oil changes and all, the, you know. They got a hair salon in the fucking thing. Sorry for my language, but seriously. And they'll have collard gr Stupid. Either.
either way, um, we're going to reserve that broth. I bought the chicken broth. Um, I'm going to dump this, clean this, pan, uh, this big pot out. Stock pot, whatever pot you want to call it. Roll it up, I don't care. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Then we got, I don't know, probably good, close to two pounds, if not more, of that uh, turtle meat. So uh, we're going to put that in eventually. I got to cut up this uh, vegetables first. I got um, frozen vegetables. I don't know if I've said this. I don't know. Uh, haven't looked at the video on here. Um, frozen veggies. I got. Uh, why did I say kale? Um, yellow squash, zucchini. Uh, those are fresh. Um, and then the frozen vegetables, which consist of corn, uh, carrots, uh, green beans, and it might be peas in there too. I'm not 100% on that one. And I might put in um, some onion, but I'm not sure. This, like I say, it's, it's like a vegetable soup, but just awesome. So stay tuned, hang on, and we'll be back. <clears throat> Alright guys, um, I rinsed off the zucchini. And I'm just going to slice them kind of thin. like so. Pretty easy. Now towards this back I think I'm going to go ahead and horribly cut this one in half. <laughs> have some fresh vegetables as well as these frozens in there. Um, I got one more zucchini to do. I got uh, a big yellow or semi big yellow squash and um, that's about it for this second. Alright guys here comes the best part. The home stretch. I only did uh, one zucchini and that yellow squash. I lost some squash. Well, I knew I would. Okay. Because that's it's quite a bit, and I'm putting a lot more. Uh, wow. Uh, a lot uh, of other vegetables in here. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this heat on, move this plastic bag. I can see that just not being good. Um, let's throw in that turtle stock and let this start going for a little bit while I get other things cleaned up and uh, get the chicken broth in here too. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> since this is starting to bubble, I've got uh, some chicken broth. This is, what does it say? Sodium, fat free, so, lower sodium, 50% less sodium, da da da. Uh, 32 ounces of this, this one, in this one. Um, and I'm going to add another 32, so that'll give me 64 ounces. If you didn't know how to do math, well, now you do. Uh, and I'm, I'm honestly thinking I might put some more uh, that last zucchini in because I've got quite a bit of vegetables and realized how much uh, meat that I do have. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut up that zucchini real quick. Um, you you see how I've done it. Um, 
hell. I prefer it. I like decent chunks. It doesn't have to be that way, ladies and gentlemen, but that's how I'm doing it. So, <clears throat> like it or not, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, it's good. It's real good. Because I told you so. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, cut up that zucchini, that last one, throw it in, let this come to a burl, and uh, then it's mixed vegetables. I got mushrooms to put in. I got them out of the can. Uh, I guess that's it. I mean, I'm going to season it, too. I'm going to put Worcestershire sauce in there. Worcestershire sauce in there. Whatever you want to call it. Um, might do some hot sauce. Uh, I ran out of Louisiana. Best stuff in the world, honestly. Um, ran out. Make some uh, pickled like hot sausages. Check my uh, videos. It's awesome. Really good. Um, actually, I've, I've got Jessica eating them now. So, guess what I had to buy when I went to the store today? I had enough of that uh, hot sauce left, but I didn't have enough for the, the sausages. Um, so, I had to buy the sausage. So, uh, this is about all I got to say. I'm going to smoke a cigarette and uh, get this one cut up. Alright guys, um, I'm going to throw in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So I might get there. Uh, just a little bit of minced garlic for just because. I have that fresh garlic. I just, I don't feel like, uh, working on it right now. Uh, let's kick it up a notch with some Slap Your Mama. Just a little bit now. You don't need a whole lot. Well, it'd be great, but, uh, but I'm cutting down, like I say, on this sodium, so I got to work on, you know, what I, my intake is. So let's cook this for a couple more minutes, and then uh, let's put in the mixed vegetables. All right, <clears throat> let's throw in uh, these mixed vegetables. How much was the... That was a pound. Um, I have this feeling that I'm probably going to need a little more. We'll see here. I'll give it a stir. Yep. Going to need more. Save a little bit for a stir fry here. Maybe. Yeah. See him in there, boy? Hell yeah. Looking alright to me. Let's throw in uh, a bunch of tomatoes and the juice. Oh, my. Woo! That was close. Close. We still got to put meat in here. Probably should have, should have stayed with that big stock pot, but that's all right. No big deal. Screw it. Hell yeah, that looks good, huh? That's veggie vegetable soup, soup right there. And then some. It's awesome. So, uh, crank up the heat. Let it. I'm gonna try to let it reduce a little bit. Um, I know you're not supposed to do a whole lot, 
uh, mainly because then everything's going to get wilted to just about nothing. But we'll doctor it up if necessary. I got more of the vegetables. I got more corn. I've got broccoli. Hell, the sky's the limit here. Hey guys, I messed up so bad. I uh, thought I was recording, but I what? Um, I did just throw this turtle meat in here. Um, so sorry about that. Other than that, uh, we're going to throw in mushrooms. Yeah. First time that has ever happened. Um, throw these mushrooms in. And I, like I say, this is a frickin' full pot. I'm gonna throw one more uh, can in for shits and giggles. Um, I might add in a little bit of Slappy Mama. Maybe a little more whooshy she 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 our sauce. But, <laughs> uh, batteries died on me, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna add in one more can of mushrooms. And that's it. We're done. Going to the bar. See you later. This is still going to be warm when I get home, guarantee. Um, I'm just going to cover it up. If not, microwaves. Freaking awesome. Smells great. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, try it out if you can. Uh, go to your local pond. Do your thing. Um, if not, you can buy it online. It's really expensive, uh, surprisingly. It's really expensive, but try it. <laughs> if you got the money, do it. Um, two pounds, of, they'll fix you right up. So, uh, great seeing everybody, talking to everybody. Um, thanks for everybody uh, subscribing. So, I'm going to throw this can of mushrooms in, get cleaned up right quick, and I'm going to the bar, and we'll see you next time.